Ruler School is brought to you by Happy Little Hug Factory and these amazing patrons. Extra special thank you to guest lecturer patrons Brody Harris and Lance Albertson. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the video. Hey there guys, Dean with 73 here bringing you a deck profile double whammy today to make up for the fact that there will be the Grand Prix this weekend uh, in Denver that I will be live streaming, so I wanted to bring you this week's deck profiles both in one video. So first up we have the Kaguya, I nicknamed it Kaguya Exodia, but it's the Kaguya Kimonos list. Um, the design of this list was purely to um, avoid killing my opponent with kimonos, I just wanted to get the 12 kimonos out, because uh, as I talked about before, I mean, if you have like 8 kimonos, it's pretty much lethal on any creature that you stick them on, um, but I wanted to try to see if I could get to all 12. Uh, so obviously Kaguya on our front side, um, you can pay 0 to reveal the top card of your deck if it's treasury, put it in your hand, so it's like a free extra draw every turn. It's a lot of treasury items in this deck, it's very helpful. Um, we also used a lot of core elements of um, Sigma Patton, Josh Patton's uh, list, uh, kind of to start us off in terms of some of the uh, draw consistency with like Shayla's Adventure, so this is a great card for being able to pay 3, draw 2, and put an addition into play, um, which is awesome because then you can flip Gagia, right? Because you put a treasury into the field this turn, um, so there's a lot of value you can get off of cards like that. Stone base wise, we play uh, four Kaguya Stone of Sorrow, four Deep Wood, and two Misty Wind. Um, this list is pure blue green, so we didn't have any need for white stones. Um, going into the main deck, we played three Heavenly Spirit Tree. Uh, this was just to kind of serve as a way to get more draw card consistency um, and have this kind of really heavy blocker. Because um, again, we're not really trying to hurt my opponent. Um, so I played this card from Echoes um, just to see what would happen. Um, in the matches that I played against it, it kind of just sat on the board a lot, um, simply because you reach a point where, because it's not a treasury, you have so many other treasuries that your opponent really is never going to deal damage anyway. And you do have a lot of draw power, so I would consider cutting this card. The 12 Kimonos, obviously, 3 Scarlet's Agony to help give us some draw power and protection, 2 Miracle Millennium Medicines, we can recycle important cards if we get low. 2 Separation of Body and Soul, because it combos really, really nicely with um, Kage's ability to reduce stat lines, as well as, you know, you have things like the First Moon, where, like, you can tap it and one other treasury to produce blue. First Moon will then minus something's attack, and then you can use that blue to immediately kill something, so it kind of can become free, which is pretty awesome. Nightmoon Blossom, we play a couple just so we have a barrier target for all of our kimonos, and, like, play this and then attach all kimonos to it so it can be safe. Uh, for Drifting Little Moon, um, because it's a Resonator, it's a treasury item, and it's an excellent um, way to be able to keep yourself safe with like pinging stuff for damage, uh, especially when you combine it with things like uh, Charlotte's Water Transformation Magic. I'm also playing two Glistening Chick um, because I think it's great to have another treasury item that, like, you, again, we're playing defensive, right? So you tap this uh, and you can tap a Resonator down. Um, so once you flip Kakia, yeah, this becomes pretty consistently a way to keep yourself safe from attack, which I like. You can kind of tap down the most important card. The other thing is it combos really well with Drifting Little Moon, because once it's rested from Glistening Chick, Drifting Little Moon can ping it for damage. So it kind of little synergies here and there. Uh, and then lastly, for Millennia Bond, um, because we can get both modes and it's a cancel. Like I said, uh, I tried to purely build this deck with no fair spell and no severing wins in the main. Uh, they existed in the sideboard. Um, you can see down here, this is kind of the sideboard that I didn't have the cancel spells in, so this is kind of not um, what I would consider playing. Um, but in the sideboard, at least for the cancel package, there were two Jupiter, two Ferrers, and two Severing Winds. Um, I could easily see moving some of those to the main if you wanted to try this. It'll be a little bit more competitive. Like Heavenly Spirit Tree probably just isn't necessary. Um, but that's this list. I hope you guys like it. It was super fun to play, uh, and getting to 12 Kimonos is always just really funny. Uh, I was, I think the most cards I drew in one turn off of the tap three treasuries was like eight. Um, so you get to this point where if your opponent doesn't have addition hate, you just get to draw so many cards, uh, and your hand is so full constantly that there's really just nothing they can do about it. But then moving over into Pete's list, this Mars Burn. Um, Mars... Obviously, on his front side, gains two mana counters. Uh, doesn't have any way to gain them on itself other than flipping. Um, and then flips over if you have gains five when it enters, or or as it enters, unless um, you remove Namblot, at which it gains ten. Uh, it gains first strike if Namblot's removed, uh, and then can just produce. 
Um, so obviously we're playing three Namblot, but let's go down to the stones real quick first. Uh, it plays four Heat Ray, two Hearts Core, and four Scorched Bales. So it is red, white, blue, black. Uh, and then in the sideboard, real quick, we'll talk about how he has this Kyrick package with a couple Ultra Dragons, some Charlottes, and then more like of Kyrick's Burn Spells with like high speed, some Callous Blazes, and a Power Spike as a like, uh, way to kind of finish the game off. So going into the main deck, uh, three uh, Namblots um, to be able to gain the extra counters as well as having a two drop with Swiftness, uh, and that can kind of keep saving itself. Prokaryotic Being to make use of all these spells that we're casting to be able to kill stuff. Vengeful, Adorakti, and Wizard. Um, this is really kind of like s stagnant burn, right? It's a two drop 6-6, six, six, but then from then on out, every time you call a stone, you're probably going to deal 200 damage to your opponent. Spirit of Fire to pump up all the damage that your fire chants are dealing. Four Welser, so you can start doing some clones um, of your fire chants. Uh, Ancient Heartfelt Fire to gain mana counters. Lightning Strike for burn. Memory to Memoria to produce for burn. Um, Blood Boil to do more burn damage, as well as potentially get one of your resonators super high to close the game, but also prevent life gain. Crimson Rank for burn and life gain. Reunion of pu Master and Pupil, three of those to help uh, dig through the deck. Uh, two Rune of Souls to find whatever ancient magic we need at that point in time. A couple eruptions for um, doing board wipes. This deck doesn't run a ton of resonators on its own, so eruption isn't going to be as impactful. Uh, and three drop for eight damage to the board is pretty great. For Invitation to Disaster uh, is the big final finale burn spell um, for Mars. Um, two, Meeting of Light and Fire uh, as a way to get some burn damage while also drawing cards. Uh, two, Magic Impact for a medium range burn spell. Two, World Flame Summoning for an Ancient Magic style board wipe burn spell as well as some J Ruler Hate. And then two, Fiend Fire lastly um, to be able to... Um, burnout from there uh, like a, an x burn spell um ultimately in looking at this list there's really not a lot of darkness in it um so what i would consider doing is um it plays darkness for the two fiend fire i would consider swapping these numbers around so you have more water um just so you can be a little bit better equipped to be able to cast um rune of soul uh over fiend fire um but that's just my personal preference uh let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below it's it was pretty fun to play against uh, Mars, um, and I definitely think if you haven't played a, played Mars style burn yet uh, before it rotates, you should definitely give it a try. So huge thanks to Pete for giving me the list and playing on the channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below. And until next time, this is DMO73 signing off.